Hello guys, welcome back to Civil Engineers YouTube channel. In this video lecture, I would like to guide you about how to calculate quantity of steel in footing construction. If you want to build your house, so in building construction, we require to construct RCC footing, especially for RCC column. So how much steel is required for RCC footing? So this is the topic for today. If you have any question related RCC footing steel reinforcement, so you can comment. I will respond to you. Let's get started guys. As you can see guys, this is footing planning. So this is the plan of footing. And this is its section. For example, I have the size of footing 4 feet 6 inches by 4 feet and 6 inches. So this is square fitting, footing. Maybe you have 5 feet by 6 feet, 3 feet by 3 feet. So it depends on the column size and structure load of building okay so i have the size four feet six inches by four feet and six inches inside this footing guys you can see this is rcc column and these blue lines can show you the steel reinforcement in this planning first of all i will tell you the details of steel reinforcement we are using here 12 millimeter die of steel rod with the spacing of 150 mm are 6 inches center to center distance between two steel rods therefore for y section and also for x section for both direction we used 12 millimeter die of steel rod and the spacing is 6 by 6 inches okay so here guys in the section you can see we have concrete cover on each side which is 3 inches so this is concrete cover which is 3 inches are 75 millimeter okay for left side also for right side so therefore in the planing you can see the size is 4 feet 6 inches by 4 feet 6 inches so the mesh size the steel reinforce, uh, reinforcement mesh size is 4 feet by 4 feet so therefore guys you can see so th this is concrete cover and you can see this is steel reinforcement for main bars and distribution bars these are steel reinforcement as i told you before in the planning that we are using here 12 millimeter die of steel rod with the spacing of six inches center to center for both directions okay next guys you can see we have the hooks so this is the hook which length is six inches with bend okay for both sides so first of all i need to find number of steel bars number of steel bars for x side also for y side this is square footing so therefore we don't require to put it here x direction and y direction but just i am guiding you if you have uh, the rectangular footing so in that case we need x direction and y direction maybe the x is five feet and the y is three feet so therefore you should know so this is the best way to understanding how to calculate steel reinforcement in rcc footing so number of steel rods x side which is here four feet and six inches but here guys i am finding the numbers of steel rods that how much steel as uh, numbers of steel rods are required to cover x side which is four feet and six inches but here guys you can see we will write here the length are the side which is four feet and six inches but here the mesh size is four feet that's why on each side left and right side we have the concrete cover so therefore four feet are length length which is four feet divided by spacing plus one plus one because for for the first steel rod we don't have any space so therefore plus one we are writing here okay so guys you can see this is the formula x side is equal uh, length divided by spacing plus one so length is four feet divided by 0 0.5 feet that's why because six inches is the spacing between two steel rods so six inches divided by 12 you will get the value 0 0.5 plus one so we require nine numbers of steel rods in x direction same guys in y direction you will find nine numbers of steel rods that's why because the length is same okay so therefore you can use the same formula here as i did here okay so now the total steel rods we required nine plus nine so the total steel required uh, we required 18 numbers for both directions okay now let me find the length of each steel rod what is the length of each steel rod guys you can see here we have four feet the length of steel rod plus 
two side hooks two side hooks mean guys you can see this is one hook and this is other hook guys you can see this is one hook and this is other hook and this hook length is six inches with bend okay with this one so therefore guys length of each steel rod is four feet plus two side hooks so four feet plus six inches plus six inches so you will get the hook with hook length each bar is five feet so therefore the total length of steel is five feet multiply 18 numbers that's why because we have total 18 numbers for x direction also for y direction so each steel rod length is five feet with hooks so therefore five multiply 18 so you will get 90 feet steel is required to construct this footing from steel reinforcement with hooks okay so if you have five footing if you have 30 footings if you have 40 footings so you will multiply with this number okay now guys let me find the total weight of steel for 90 feet so first of all finding the total weight of steel 90 feet so this is n feet so let me convert it to the meter in one meter we have 3.28 feet so therefore 90 feet divided by 3.28 so we require 27.43 meter steel rods to cover this steel mesh okay this is single mesh so formula to find the weight of steel what is the formula to find weight of steel so this is the formula to find weight of steel d square divided by 162 so you will get the value n kg per meter so this is the weight of steel okay so here guys you can see d square divided by 162 multiply 27.43 so this is the total length of steel in meter so is equal 12 millimeter multiply 12 millimeter because the d square dia should be in millimeter if you see for both directions we have here for main bars and distribution bars the dia is 12 millimeter so 12 millimeter multiply 12 millimeter divide by 162 so this is the formula and this is the length of steel rod which is 27.43 so you will you will require 24.38 kg so say we required 25 kg of steel rods to construct this rcc footing so how many numbers of footing do you have so do multiplication with 25 kg numbers of footing you will get the total weight of steel and kg so this is the topic for today to know about how to calculate quantity of steel and rcc footing hope this short video can help you thanks for watching see you in next video goodbye